Okay, well, it's about 10 o'clock, and I gotta tell you, it's a lot colder than I thought it was gonna be today. I think the high is like 60 degrees or 62 degrees. It's, it sounds really warm, but it's not. I moved a little bit further into the woods today. Today's the second day of crossbow season. I was down there in the, uh, what I call the ridge stand. Uh, it's kind of a nice funnel where the deer tend to move. And all I saw was two fawns and a doe. And I think they were all the same ones from the first day that were out in my food plot. Uh, the fawns were happy enough. They came through there and they bedded down believe it or not, bedded down in the woods 50 yards from me. I just watched them for a while, but I'm telling you, I was kind of held hostage. I was so cold, I didn't dare stand up, didn't dare stretch, didn't dare do anything to, to keep warm. Uh, I don't even have a coat on. I'm wearing a couple of sweatshirts and that's it. I'm gonna go back to the house. I'm gonna get some coffee and get warmed up, put on all of my clothes and come back down for the afternoon. <laughs> Well, I'm not out of tree stands and blinds yet. I'm not out of different hunting locations yet. I haven't used them all. Now I'm going over to the doe field this morning. Basically, the doe field's where I shot my first doe, so that's why I call it that. But basically, I have a blind set up there over a nice little food plot that I put in. Now, last year, I had a food plot right next to it, and that food plot got picked right down to the bare earth over the course of the winter. What I did is I went through with some Ladino clover seeds and broadcast it by hand and frost seeded that little spot so that it would grow up and sure enough it grew up into a nice food plot of clover so now i've got a nice clover food plot sitting next to my food plot that i tilled and put in this summer when i first got there i thought let's put together a time lapse let's not just sit here and wait so i set up the gopro to do a nice time lapse well we interrupt this time lapse to bring you some does that have walked into the food plot now, the only problem is those does are in the clover food plot next door. They're not in the food plot that I'm sitting over. Eventually, one of the does does make her way over into the food plot that I just put in, the one where I'm sitting next to the blind, and maybe I'm asking too much. I think she sees the DSLR camera sticking out the window. She sees the GoPro over on the side of the food plot, she sees me moving around in there maybe, and decides that's a little bit too much. She doesn't leave. She just goes back to the clover. After all that work this summer putting in that food plot, the respect I get from those deer is that they stay in the clover. They don't even come over for a visit. So that afternoon, I figure, let's go spend the afternoon over in the tree stand that I've got where that food plot was last year, overlooking all that clover. Sure enough, I get a little visitor that night. It's a fawn who comes in, and she ends up spending most of her time next door in the new food plot. She doesn't even come over to the clover. So I was all alone for the rest of the evening. Second day of archery season. Second. I moved a little bit further into the woods today. Today's the second day of crossbow season. 